Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to connect your Elgato Game Capture HD with your PS3. Let's get started. First, get the AV to PS3 component cable and plug the AV connector into the Game Capture HD. And plug the PS3 component connector into the PS3. Now grab the HDMI cable and plug one end into the HDMI out port on the Game Capture HD. And plug the other end into the HDMI in port on your screen. Finally, get the micro USB to normal USB cable and plug the micro USB connector into your Game Capture HD. Last, plug the normal USB connector into your computer. So now that we have all our hardware set up, let's move to the software. To get the Game Capture HD software, navigate to the Elgato download page, the link will be in the description below, and choose the download link for your operating system. So after you've downloaded and installed the software, open it and you will see a window like this. So at the top right we can see the capture device, which by default is set to the Elgato Game Capture HD. Below that we have the game audio, which you can set before capturing. Below that we have the live stream settings, which we will not need for recording. Under that we have the live commentary, which if you're using the method shown in this video, you won't need either. And last we have the tags, which are only for live streaming. So on the left we can see the window where when we are recording we can see what we are recording. Obviously we have no signal because the PS3 is not turned on yet. So now let's just leave the Game Capture HD software as it is and turn our attention to the PS3. Alright, so on your PS3 press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. You'll hear the usual first beep. And then a second beep, indicating that your display settings have been reset. After that, after a short time, uh, the PS3 menu will show up, but in the very crap resolution. There we are. Now this menu on the camera doesn't, it doesn't look so crap, but it is really crap in real life. So, change that. We'll have to go to settings. Then go down to display settings. Hit video output settings. And then select Components D Terminal. Click on Change. Gonna take a little while. And now I'll just click Yes. And select the resolution 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. And go left on the joystick. I'm gonna say no signal for a short moment. And now your resolution will look a lot better because it's in 1080p. So click on enter and then finish. So now that we've set the resolution, um, we can now start recording. So as far as audio goes, I do not recommend to use a built-in tool into the Game Capture HD software. Instead, I recommend you to use an external program like Audacity. Audacity is free and can be downloaded for Windows and Mac on this website. The link will be in the description below. So just before you start recording with the Game Capture HD, just head over to Audacity, select your microphone, in this case it's my headset, and to record, just click the red record button. Test, 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 test. Now to stop the recording, just press the spacebar. And if you're happy with it, then you can just click on File, then Export Audio, and I just give it any name, just going to test, and click on Save. So now that we know how to record audio with the Elgato, we are finally ready to actually go ahead and capture. So to capture, just press the big red capture button in the bottom left corner, and let's now watch some sample footage I created using the Game Capture HD. Alright, so this is me playing some GTA 5 with the Elgato turned on, and so far I have to say everything is looking great. So, if this video helped you, then please leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Bye!